my name is Marian with Integra Group Real Estate. Today we're going to talk about the utility turn-on process for your HUD transactions. Now the utility turn-on process can be a little bit challenging, but hopefully with what we present you here, it'll make it a little bit easier. Now the best thing to know is that if your buyer does choose to have an inspection or if an appraisal is required, to set the expectation ahead of time with your buyer. There are fees involved, there is timing that's going to have to be coordinated. That will set you off on the right foot. Now, if the buyer chooses to have the inspection, needs an appraisal, first thing that's going to happen is once you receive the ratified contract from BLB Resources, along with it, you should receive a utility turn-on request form. That form will need to be completed and sent back to the field service management company. So you're going to send that completed form along with a copy of the ratified contract and possibly a check. Sometimes the field service management company may require a check from the buyer if the property needs to be winterized or dewinterized. If that's not clear in the paperwork, please contact the field service management company. Their number is either on the utility turn on request form or can also be found on the cover sheet to your ratified contract. So once you know what needs to be sent to the field service management company, you'll send that off. They will execute it and return the utility turn on request form back to you. Then you can take that and contact the utility companies and arrange to have service turned on. The service can be turned on for up to 72 hours, three days. So with that in mind, you want to work with your lender to coordinate having the inspection and or appraisal done within that same time frame. So if utilities do need to be turned on for a second time, there could be additional charges to your buyer. That would not be a good thing. Now, occasionally, utilities have been off to the property for longer than six months at a time. In that case, the utility companies will let you know that they cannot turn on service until they have a city inspection. So the city inspection can be done. That would be a choice of your buyers and yourself. And of course, there could be a fee to that as well. So if the buyer chooses to proceed and have the city inspection done, city inspector will come out. If everything's cleared, the utility services can then turn on utilities. Occasionally, the city inspector will come back and say that there are going to be repairs that need to be done, and they won't be able to authorize utilities to be turned on until repairs are done. If that happens, I'm afraid you're up against a wall at that point. The buyer will not be able to make those repairs as they're not in possession of the property yet, and the seller will not make those repairs also. So the best thing to know is to set, again, the expectations with your buyer, to have them look at a property thoroughly before they place a bid on it and have some expectations as to whether or not any of this can, will, will be necessary. Obviously, there's going to be things that they might not know ahead of time, but it's best to take somebody that has some information, some experience and knowledge in construction of the home to help make uh, an informed and knowledgeable decision on that. So once the utility services are on, buyer can go ahead and have that inspection and appraisal done. And then utilities would then be shut off. And if a check had been given to the field service management company, occasionally then um, they may have the policy to return that check to the buyer as well. So that's how the, the utility turn on process works.